Today is October 27, and we welcome Mr. Rick Verkirk as guest to Wilderness Wanderings. Hello, Rick, and thanks for your willingness to participate in this week as part of Wilderness Wanderings. This week, you would like to talk about praying for others. Why did you choose this topic? Well, prayer is the way that we connect with God and keep in contact with Him. It's the most important relationship in our lives. Uh, we can experience intimacy with God, confess our sins to restore the relationship, express joy through praise, and partner with Jesus by interceding for others. You know, a great example of this is, is of how to pray for others is found in uh, John 17, where Jesus shows us what an intercessory partnership looks like, starting with prayer for himself, but then intercession prayer for those close to him, the disciples, and then others. Okay, well, we look forward to these. Please begin. Well, let's begin by looking at the importance of faith when we pray. Today's scripture passage is from James 5, verses 17 to 18. In this text, James says, Elijah was a man like us. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain for three and a half years. Again, he prayed, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth produced its crops. You know, in 1 King 18, verses 43 and 44, Elijah and his servant are having a conversation. Go and look toward the sea, he told his servant. And he went up and looked. There is nothing there, he said. Seven times, Elijah said, go back. The seventh time, the servant reported, a cloud as small as a man's hand is rising from the sea. Now, whenever I read this conversation, I'm initially in awe. One man earnestly makes numerous prayer requests, and they are granted. First, he prays for no rain. Then he prayed, and it rained. Not a hundred men praying, not five men praying, one man praying. But there is an indispensable condition to the prayer request being granted. It was Elijah's faith. You see, prayers without faith are incomplete. Faith is the second requirement of prayer after confession, and it comes with an amazing promise in Mark chapter 11, verses 22 to 24, if you have faith. Elijah had faith. Simple prayers of faith, all answered. But what if Elijah had quit after, say, three attempts or six? He didn't. Rather, he prayed earnestly. Earnest prayer gained the results. James points out in the text that Elijah was a man just like us, meaning he was an ordinary guy, not someone extraordinary. And the importance of this, the power of God is released through prayer by people, ordinary people like us. See, it was God who held back the rain, caused it to rain again, not Elijah. The message for us, simply, an ordinary person who has faith, who prays earnestly and persistently, will release tremendous power, God's power, and God is seeking people of faith to intercede on behalf of others. When you think about Elijah and what he prayed for, do you think, oh, I could never pray like that? Are you in awe of him? Then remember what happened when one ordinary person prayed earnestly and start praying earnestly. As you journey on, go with the blessing of God. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May your day end with rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May you rest in his provision as he brings night and then new dawn.